Hello, my friends. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. This is Tanya inside Get Crafty, guys. Today is the day we are going to start this Christmas journal. What? <laughs> yep. So it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, and I thought, you know, let's start this. So we found I found this in that uh, box yes the other day, yesterday, the other day. I don't know when. And it's this. It's a small little signature of a journal. And I thought, let's get this little guy out and make something with it. Why don't we? And we're going to, I'm probably going to cut these strings apart. This box is the exact right size for this project, I think. Look at that. It's just about, I guess it's a little tall. It's a little bit tall. I can trim that down just a bit at the top. So we'll do that. We'll take off about, what is that? About half an inch, an inch. It's about an inch. It's a little bit more than an inch. So we'll take off, we'll take off three fourths of an inch. How about that? We're gonna do that, about three fourths of an inch. It'll give us plenty of room to work with. Let's see where we're at here. Ooh, hope you guys are all doing great. Today it was a work day for me. And it started out a doozy, but it ended up all right. Uh, let's see. Eight and a half. So we need to go down to seven and three fourths. Seven and three fourths. So this is going to be the start of a new journal, a Christmas one, all things Christmas, because you know what I noticed? You guys are looking at the Christmas stuff. You want to see Christmas. The majority of you have shown me with your viewing that that is what you're looking for. And so I believe her for sure. And I need to get this done. So one more fun project to do. Now this is I'm gonna have to add a flap to this. So I'm thinking about making this into a, like a box journal. So we'll add a flap to this part. This was originally this way, backwards, because this is, you know, a box. And then, so I'll add a flap on here. This should fit perfectly, right? Right inside there. So there's gonna be just a little extra room here, which is perfect. And that can close that way. Now I'm going to use this side of it because I want to cover it with fabric and I don't know that my fabric will, and that was a loud motorcycle, that my fabric will cover the photos on this other side. So we're going to use the plain side. And my thought is that, I have this, oops, sorry, sorry for the wiggles. I have this Ritz box which is perfect. We're gonna use this flap right here. Let's just cut that guy off right there. There's my big old scissors. Let's just cut this off and we will have the same paperweight, same cardboard. I should probably use this one because this one's got notches in it. Let's use this one instead. It's gonna be the same. hope you guys are doing great. I hope you're crafting. I hope you have started on your Christmas crafts or your fall crafts or whatever else brings you joy. I know that I have. I have been crafting away. I have been, I've got a table set up in front of my TV and then of course I've got my whole craft room. I've got, I am ready. I am ready for the holidays to get all my fun crafting done. So I have been really going to town with all the things, all the things. So some of it you guys have seen, some of it you haven't, some of it I need to, I need to finish up a couple of these journals so that I can actually post them and put them away. I've got a whole bunch of cards started. I've got a whole bunch done and I've got a whole bunch that need envelopes. So I'm super excited about that. I probably have close to 50 already. 
that I've been working working on getting finished. So let's go this one this way. It's actually slightly shorter, which is fine um, because I'm going to be putting the fabric and stuff on it. So it's going to cover that up. So this is going to go like this. like this okay it's gonna close just like that so we've got quite a bit of room in there to put some fun papers don't we can use some Christmas papers what yep we're gonna do that I'm actually going to take I am going to take this apart as cute as it is I do want to take it apart because I am going to be adding some different papers and stuff and I just want it to be kind of consistent some of the ones that I have some of the ones that they put in here and just kind of mix and match so that we'll have lots I'm not going to do that part today because we're going to cover this today this will probably take the time that we need and then I can take some of those papers and start working on that I do want to use kind of this color scheme though because I do have this one also I uh, remember the doll that I found in there in the box well I added her to this tag because it's perfect it worked out great she didn't belong on here, but she does now. And I think this would be a fun, fun little pocket to stick in there somewhere. Um, so we're going to cover this today. I'd also like to use, I want to use my Tim Holtz papers. So I've got those over here. I'm going to have to use parts of those. But I want to put fabric on the outside. So that's what I'm looking at first, okay? Now, how am I going to do this? I know this is going to be out of screen, part of it at least, but um, my space isn't all that huge, so we're just going to have to make it work, guys. Just going to have to make it work. So this is definitely not a tutorial. This is just more, more journaling stuff that I love to do. You guys have probably seen me start more journals than finish. <laughs> well, I, that's obviously true because um, I have some here on my desk that I have started and not finished. So that, that is true. But I do end up finishing them. Sometimes it just takes some extra inspiration to get them done. These fall ones I definitely need to do before before you know before it really dives into fall don't I I'm gonna put this tape on both sides of this if I had a wider tape I would definitely use it unfortunately this is all I have right now I need to order I need to order some I have several rolls of this width I'm just gonna Tape it up, tape it up, tape it up. And I'm going to put some, well, see, I'm a little nervous about putting glue on here because that fabric is fairly thin. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out. if I should consider using a different fabric. I don't think I have anything that's super Christmassy though. What do I have? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna try this. First, I think I'm going to need to put some fabric out and cut it to the approximate size. Like I said, I'm kind of low on space here, but this should be about the right width and height. So what if, what if, what if? Guys, I'm just going to take my shears and cut this because it'll be easier. I'm going to cut it over here. You won't be able to see me, but I'll be right back. 
right back. Kind of cutting in the air, kind of sloppily because I don't have room. I don't have room. One of these days, I'm going to be one of those YouTubers that has 9 billion followers and that makes all the ad money. <laughs> so I can buy new things for my, <laughs> make my desk bigger. Wouldn't that be something? Who knows? Who knows what life has in store? All right, so obviously this is gonna to be too long. Obviously. Obviously. So we're gonna cut it again here. This fabric is really pretty. I'm gonna cut it here. I might need to cut it again still, but this is where it's gonna be right now. All right, fabric, you're in the way. Okay. Maybe I could have done this on the table in the other room, but here I am. All right, and the sad thing is now that I've straightened that all out, I need to pull the tape off. I could have actually made this. Mm, no, too late now. We're in now, this is it. This is what we're doing. We're gonna see how it turns, oh shoot. That didn't work out very well, did it? Let's see how this works. If all else fails, I will ditch that and ditch that idea and use my my paper which I kind of plan to put some over the top anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. If I don't like the way the fabric fits on there, I should be able to actually pull it back off since it's not glued. Trial and error. I don't know where I got this fabric. I was walking through my room the other my craft room the other day I thought hey there's red fabric what that looks like a Christmas journal that's just the right color and that it is and it's got a nice texture to it. it looks it feels like a polyester of sorts I don't know my fabrics that well anymore, but I used to. I used to be really good at it. I'm like, oh yeah, that's a blah, blah, blah blend or whatever, whatever it was. That's cotton. That's, that's not taped. This end. I need to put one here on this side where I didn't put it. There's that tape. There's green fuzz on it. There we go. Okay, now. <laughs> After all that, I'm just gonna drop it. Just drop it. No problem. All right, and I don't care if it's straight or not because obviously I'm gonna have to move some stuff around, but I'm trying to get it not to be wrinkled at least. And I know that the size is way too big, so I'm gonna have some adjusting anyway. And get that one's down. Let's see. Let's we'll turn it over and see where we're at and how poorly this actually worked. Because I think it worked pretty poorly. Pretty poorly. Get that up and stretch it. 
stretch it straight. Actually, it's not that bad. Not as bad as I thought it might be. Some wrinklage down here. I can fix that. That's not horrid. And I will be putting stuff on the outside of it to help with, you know, to make it a nice journal. So I think we're good. I think we're good. So what I want to do is take this and we're going to miter. And we're going to cut closer to the edge too. We don't need all that fabric on there. Sorry. It doesn't matter if these, you're going to see a lot of um, jagged edges on these, this fabric right now. It's okay because it's all going to be taped down and under. So that's okay. Look at that. It's not going to show. And this fabric is so thin. My desk space is so small, it's kind of hard to avoid. Okay. Miter. And then again here. All right, there we go. There's that. Now. I'm going to do this again with the tape, not all over this time, just the edges, because we're going to have to tape this down into position so we will have our cover completed. A little easier to work with now. Covers are so much easier with paper. I like to do the thick covers too. This one is, um, I obviously didn't do it that way, but I like to do the, the padded quilted paper or quilted fabrics to make it kind of a soft, squishy look. And then I'm going to go just a little bit higher because some of these, most of these are pretty thick, just to help hold that up a little bit further. We'll use those in there too. Why not? Actually, I said I was going to use those rusty colors, but this fabric is not rusty. What was I thinking there? I was going to do more traditional colors. I'm going to have to look at my choice in papers because I might have, I'm, I'm, I'm think I've got two different journals going on in my head and there's nothing wrong with that. But I think that I've got red and green over there and then I've got the, um, more burgundy and browns over there. And I just put red on here, but I was planning on the burgundy and brown on here. So I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna put that all together and have it coordinate. Oops. 
You guys probably already saw that a while ago, didn't you? And it just hit me. Like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I got like two color schemes going on here. I don't know how much it matters, but it kind of does. Kind of does. I was, yeah, it kind of does. Just pull that tight. It fits nicely. Remember, we're going to use some paper on the inside to cover this. On the inside, so that'll all be tacked down even better once that's done. So, oh, this corner's not very good, is it? It isn't a very good miter. In fact, it's a horrible miter. Might have to do something about them edges there. Okay, so there's that. It's going to look like this. I'm not digging it. I'm not digging it at all. Don't tell me after all that that's not going to work. Well, I might have to put... So um, I think it's going to be fine. I might have to put some decorative elements over the parts I'm not liking. And that's that's fine too. So weird. There's a bump like a bubble right there. But I was going to put some ele design elements over it anyway. So I think we'll be okay. What do you guys think? You think that's all right? certainly not crisp and clean but it's not bad it could go this way too that's not a that wouldn't be an issue either okay so see this is the original that I was planning on using all these things Ooh, this could go This could go here, even. Perhaps. Something like that, maybe. Perhaps, we'll see. Or even just wrapped over like that would be cute. So I need to figure out some of these details because of I've got this one too. Okay, I'm gonna look at this for a second. How much of this do I have? Because this would be super cute. Just kind of sewing this onto the edge, or even. work very well. Because then when you open it up, it looks like that. I only have one piece. Which would kind of make me like to go this way with it. Or, or we could go up the back. This way. Maybe that's each spine. Maybe if I cut it, if I cut it in half, do I have enough for each spine? That would be cute. One on this side and one on this side. Maybe. That's something to think about for sure. All right. I'm not sure about that yet. Okay. I think my next step is to figure out what goes on the inside here. Now, I was going to... I had originally said that I wanted to use my Tim Holtz papers, but that being said, well, I could even... even 
and cover the fabric like that, it would not only make it stronger, but I'd cover up some of the stuff I don't like and just frame it. That's really pretty. Do we want to go grunge or are we stay in cute, guys? What are we going to do? I mean, I could totally still see these in grunge. This one, not as much. But it would still be cute, wouldn't it? I think that's what we're going to do. And then this was going to go on there too, and that works too. What if... Put this here. This is my front. And then I have this dangle here. Is that too much? I think it's too much in a good way. <laughs> I don't think I'll do the ruffle on the other side. I think I'll save the other half for something else or an interior something. So let's go ahead. Oh, I could do this too. I really like this. I really, really do. I could turn it this way so it's not quite as grungy. And maybe I should do that. Right here. I'm committing. I am committing. Ah. Scary. That's the front. That's going to be the front. Yep, it is. Okay, so I'm going to use tape and tape and glue to put this on the front. I probably should have finished the inside before I worried about the front, but I guess I kind of, kind of want to know what I'm doing on the front so I know how to do the inside. And if I don't have enough Tim Holtz papers or, or the right ones, I have so much Christmas paper. I am not worried Not at all. How have we already been doing this for half an hour, guys? How is that possible? You know, it's really funny. I noticed that when I craft, I feel like I've only been doing this for like 15 minutes. I look up and we're at 45. And I'm like, oh my gosh. It's crazy how quick it goes. Really, really crazy. But it's fun. I love it. That's a good sign, right? I get caught up in my crafting and just truly enjoy it. All right, let's put this on the front. Oh, shoot, I just... I was gonna put glue on there too, but it's too late now. I've got it down. There's the front. Okay, let's figure out what's going on on the inside. Now I'm gonna need a few things here. I'm thinking maybe some of these. Should I use this one? I should because I've got candy on there. Got a candy cane theme. We could do that one there. I think I like that. I'm gonna have to overlap these some or they just won't fit. Christmas souvenir. I wonder if I could put that one there. I would cut right into the middle of it. That's the only thing. Here's green polka dots. That's kind of cute. I need one more. One more something. Which one? I 
kind of like that. Or maybe this one. This would be a good way to sandwich that, right? Sandwich those two. We've got the green and reds here, and then the green and reds here. Any more candies? Nope, nope, nope. I think that's the way we're going to go. Okay, now, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. This is not going to be wide enough, so I'm still going to have to put something in between. And maybe I'll just use strips of this red fabric again to join those in the middle to make them fit just right. You can see if I go to the edge where I need to, I'm going to have some gapping in there. This is going to go folded, and that's fine. That one can go right up to the edge, but then this one will be off. Either that or I could put a pocket or a tuck or something here. I think we'll do that. I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so let's start with that. Let's start with this one. Oh man. Wait, I gotta cut this right first. How wide is this? This is seven and three fourths. So we're gonna go seven and a half. I'm going to go seven and five eighths, actually. Oh, let's start up here. Okay. That should work just fine. So we're going to go here. I'm going to put some tape here too in these creases because I want to make sure that they stay stuck down. Even where it folds. And I'll put glue in there too. I keep saying I'm going to put glue and then forget, but I do have my glue here. I can do it. Might as well stick another one in there and another. Okay, let's pull all these off. Goodness, doesn't want to come off. Get my pokey tool out. You guys, I've got some feral cats in my backyard. What do you recommend to, to, how would you recommend to get rid of them? I feel bad, but I need to get them out of there. What you think, what you think? I guess I could go out and work in my yard. <laughs> I haven't been out there for a while. If I'm out there, maybe they'll find another place to go. Be like, oh, well, maybe we don't like it here anymore. There, there's nothing to eat out there. I don't know what they're surviving on. No idea. 
I don't feed my animals outside, so I'm not sure. What would you do if they were in your yard? I don't want to hurt them. I just want them to go find another yard. what's going to end up happening is I'm going to have to take them to get them spayed and neutered or something. I don't know. Probably need to call somebody and see what we're supposed to do. I don't know what to do in this situation. Never had this happen before. Lived here for eight years. I've never had, never had this problem. All right, let's see here. I can't catch them either. I mean, if I had to, to remove them or to, to take them somewhere, I probably could figure it out, but I don't want to try unless I have to. That's going to be cute. I think that's going to be really cute. Okay, I'm going to take this one. Forgetting that there's already tape stuck on there. I shouldn't be laying anything across it. That one's gone. Cool. All right, we're really working through the tape. That's good, good, good. I've got more. That's all this size. I used the whitest stuff first because it was my favorite. So all I have is the thin stuff left. tape a little bit too far that way but that's okay because it'll just tape on my next piece and that would be this piece so kind of like that too but I think I settled on this one let's see if I have some more tape because I do want to use it I think I should have another oh yeah found some wide one. Oh, that's perfect. Even better. Wish I'd found this a long time ago. Man, see what happens when you start cleaning up. I need to set a date that I'm going to do a craft room tour for you guys. So that I'll make sure that I have everything 
cleaned up by then. Wouldn't that be something? Which be like, um, yeah, I changed my mind. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. No, I've done messy craft room tours for you guys though before, so I don't know. That shouldn't be an issue. Done it before, right? Why not do it again? Okay, let's put some glue in there. Oh, I gotta pull the tape paper off. This tape is pretty cool. It's got the, the backing feels like plastic. I don't know where I got it. No idea. Something just fell on the floor. So we'll finish this part of the cover today, and then I'm gonna spend some time off camera, put my papers together, gather them together, cause you know, it's the same as I usually do. You guys know my processes so far. And find, figure out the color scheme I really wanna do. Oops, this is where the glue needs to go. And get some stuff organized for this one. You know I have some of the things on my desk, but there's, there's got to be more so I'll get that together and share the next steps with you put that there oh wow I totally missed that edge didn't I totally missed it That's okay though, because I have more paper and I can cover that for sure. I'm not worried, not at all, but let's see. I'm gonna take one of those. What if I cut, ooh, what about? This one. I'm gonna take some of that off. I'm going to take a piece of um, scrap paper. This would work. Do I want to put that there? Scrap. Let's see. I don't know if that has a little hook there. Is that tall enough? That's not tall enough. I'm just going to have to cut one of these. So what I'm going to do is just put a piece of paper over that end. I'm going to cover it anyway. Just so I know that everything is covered properly. waste one of my pretty papers there doing that but this is going to go under my pocket so my pocket will be what we see but this will be underneath it covering up those edges and that tape this will not show what do I mean by that? I mean, it won't show. <laughs> We're going to just glue this down right here, all the way to the edge. That's going to help hold that stuff in place too. Okay, 
Okay, and then when we put our decorative paper, our tuck, this will go right over it and you won't be able to see it, but it's going to stop that from showing. Um, I do want to put a piece of tape. Ooh, we're going to use lots of this in there. We're going to put a piece of, of washi tape along here so that it doesn't, whatever we put in that pocket won't catch on that corner. I'm going to leave that tape out because I'm going to use that again and again. And then this will be our tuck. Or our side pocket right here. Okay, once again, we're going to cover that piece of white paper so it doesn't show. That's how we fix it. Okay, that's just a little band-aid. We fixed it. And then we need to learn or train these pieces. My bone for where it is. To fold again. And then where's the next one? The next one is right there. it up. It's going to be that part. It is puckering a little bit. I don't really like that. Okay, and then this one. Here. Now we could have laid these papers so that they matched up evenly with our um, with our folding, our folded spots, but I didn't do that. And perhaps I could have, should have, but I didn't. So, I have to train it. And then this one goes here. I do have a little puckering going on. I think it's going to be fine though once we're, once we're all done. And I'm considering sewing around each of this. So all the way around the edges, I'm thinking about it, going all the way around here and then here and then the back. Let's find a piece of back paper. So that's going to need something too. See, we're, we're, we're getting somewhere. And it's getting stronger as we go. The more layers that we add, the better it's going to be as far as strength goes too. So that's a good thing. Let me see if I can tuck this back under. See that sewing that would help hold those pieces in place too. I think I'd be happier with it. And I may have some metal. I, I think I have some metal corners that I can put on there, which would be great. What about, what about, what about, now I still want to I still want to stay a bit um, you know whimsical by using some of these things. I think I can still use this. I think that this one is going to be I can use that inside, but it's not as whimsical. And um, I was going to use that for my cover. I was thinking about it, but I was thinking also that this might be fun to use. As, um, an advent calendar cover so I think I'm gonna hold on off on that one what do I need here I do like this one it's not whimsical Where's that? I don't need this anymore. What can I use there? I don't have much left, do I? Oh, I need something for the back still. 
I could use this one for the back since we used it on the inside or something similar on the inside. Is that really all I have left? Because I thought I had, oh, nope, I don't. I have more. That's where they went. What about this one on the outside? This one on the outside right here this one that's perfect that's perfect and how tall did I say this was this was seven and seven and three-fourths it's gonna go there And then how wide is that? That would be about two and a half inches. We'll go two and a quarter. Two and a quarter, ouch, pinched my fingers. I need that again, so I don't want to go too far with it. Oh yeah, well, it's a little bit too long. Take a little shimmy off of that. And we'll use some tape and glue, which now that I've thought about sewing, I don't think I should be putting this at the, at the edges because it's going to mess up my needle, isn't it? This will be the back. I've got some, definitely gonna have to sew this cause it's gonna, I'm gonna need it to help stick that down. It'll help it form better. I think that's gonna go on the back. And then this needs to be, I need this. I think I'm gonna put another strip of that same paper here. And then we'll put something else here. So this is gonna be one and three fourths. We'll go one and a half. I'm gonna go, actually, I'm gonna do one and three eighths. Make it a little more narrow. A little bit. So I think by using some of these Tim Holtz and vintage papers, I think I can still get away with using those um, different colored papers in there and using that, using those in there. I think it'll work. I think it's just gonna be a big combination of traditional and non, non-traditional in there. And I think it'll be beautiful. I think I wanna use this one here. Have an, kind of an eclectic feel. Did I say seven and a three fourths? There we go. Whoops, that didn't cut. I keep forgetting I gotta push down on it to make it cut. So I wanted to go away from 
on the edges too. glue and this is non-directional so it doesn't matter oh I cut it too long hang on hang on please hold please we're just gonna cut a little tiny bit off of here all dry I think it'll be just fine all right there we go so that is our cover for now like I said I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sew around it because I think that that will be the best thing and I think I'm gonna love it that way and we've got a really good start to this cool little journal it's going to be really fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you'll give it a try. So this, it's going to be a journal box, I should say. It's a journal box. It's a journal box. What does that mean? Well, it means that there's going to be a journal in this little box. And all these edges, I'm going to refine all this stuff off camera and come back to you and show you next time what it's going to do. So Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys, and I hope that you enjoy this and that you'll give it a try. Get your crafting done. Let's get some Christmas going. I hope you have a fantastic day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.